pick them up. Think we can do it out in the open like this? I don't know. It's quiet. Nobody around. I think we're okay. Fuck it. Let's do it. Alright, let's do this. Hey! Hey, I'm talking to you, you little shit. You wanna buy some smoke? Nah, dude, I don't smoke that shit. Shit? What the hell are you talking about my shit? Well, my shit ain't good enough for you, boy? I didn't say that, I just, you're not interested. Just leave me alone. I'll leave you alone when I damn well feel like it. You feel like leaving him alone yet, Mike? No way. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sure you sell the best weed in the state. I just don't want any. What makes you think I give a fuck what you want anyway? Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. Whoa! <laughs> Little prick's got a mouth on him. I think you need to come with us. No fucking way. Hey, kid! Hey, you got your bag. Thanks. You little fucking shit! Asshole! Come on, man, do it quick. Please let me go, guys. I won't tell anybody you guys are selling weed. You really expect us to believe that, boy? We know the minute you get out of here, you're gonna be laughing to everybody in sight. Come on, guys, I won't say a thing. I'll just leave and forget all about you. Am I really that forgettable? Shit. And I was just thinking about letting that little fucker go. <laughs> Shit, we got plans for you, boy. And unfortunately, I know you ain't gonna like it. <laughs> you definitely ain't gonna like what he's got in mind. <laughs> I know some really fucked up shit about some people in this town. We ain't got time for stories. So why don't you shut your mouth, or I'll find something to shut it for you. Come on guys, let me tell you a story. My brother works down at the police station. I got all kinds of dirt on people you can use against them. The police station, huh? I don't know, maybe this kid could tell us some things that would help us out. Are you kidding me? You wanna be a story time around here? Fuck man, I mean, he's tied up, he's over there, we're gonna fucking kill him anyway, what difference does it make? Kid, you better tell me something great, like the location of D.B. Sweeney or some shit like that. D.B. who? You know, the guy that stole all that money and jumped out of the plane. It's, it's nothing crazy like that. You know that old abandoned house on King Road? The one that all high school kids think is haunted? You know the house I'm talking about? Shit, man. I know what house that kid's talking about. It kind of reminds me of that time that we robbed that chick's house, remember? I told you never to talk about that shit. Go ahead, kid. Okay. Well, my brother overheard some cops and he was telling me about what they said they had found. They were the first ones on the scene. They all have their variations of the story. There was this girl named Rachel who lived there with her dad. It all started one day when she was on her way home.
was that scream? Where did that come from? Don't worry about the scream, little girl. That's my business. Nothing concern you. You go to your friend's house, and when I'm ready for you, I'll call. Dad, what's going on? I heard a woman scream. Ugh. I'm sure he'll calm down. You just gotta give us some time. You know, see the way he looked at me. He looked at me as if he wanted to erase me. I just, I feel like he can't function without me. But you're a grown woman. You can stay here tonight if you need to. I can't. It'll just make things worse if I don't go back. Besides, I, I thought I heard a noise from down in the basement. Like what? I don't know. It's probably just me losing my mind. Rachel, you know you can tell me anything. It's... It was nothing. He's probably drunk. You should probably talk to him about it. Talk to him about what? Well, he obviously has a drinking problem. Uh, have you not heard anything I've been saying to you? The man punched me in my stomach and you want me to go home and call him an alcoholic? I'm not that dumb. Besides, I think there's more to it than that. Like what? You're speaking in code. How can I help you if you won't tell me what's wrong? I'm sorry my messed up life is such an inconvenience to you. What's up? You're acting like you want to say something. It's not that important. Tell me. You really don't want to hear it. Just tell me already. I was talking to my mom the other night about you and your problems. I don't want everyone knowing my business. What gave you the right to tell her? Well, apparently she used to see your dad. When was this? A couple of years ago. A couple of years ago? My mom was around a couple of years ago. Yeah, it was before your mom left. Wait a minute. That piece of shit was cheating on my mom? She said he threatened her. Well, actually what she said was he showed up at her work and then followed her home for like a month. That's bullshit. My dad wouldn't do that. Are you forgetting who we're talking about here? He just punched you in the stomach. I have to get home. You don't have to go anywhere. You're 30 fucking years old living with your dad. You don't understand, Shelly. My dad, he needs me. Ever since my mom left, he's been extremely lonely. He wasn't lonely when he was fucking my mom. I'm sorry, I gotta go home.
Rachel, come here. There's something I want to talk to you about. Rachel, I'm sorry for what happened this afternoon. I don't want you to be afraid of me. Hope we can work this thing out. What about the screaming I heard? What was that? There was a woman here. Those weren't painful screams. You caught me off guard. You walked in at a bad time. So you're telling me the screaming I heard was just fooling around? The woman wanted you to hurt her? There was no hurting involved. Everything is fine. She's a prostitute. I picked up at the bar. It's hard for a man of my age to find companionship. Sometimes you gotta take what you can get. What do you expect a person to think when they experience something like this? I need time to process all of this. Agreed. I'm sorry I hit you like that. Sometimes I can't get all my emotions. Dad, how come you never told me you went with Shelly's mom? How'd you find out about that? I overheard her talking to Shelly about it. That was a long time ago. I didn't think it was important. What happened between you two? It just didn't work out. We had different ideas on our relationship. So we broke up. I guess that's enough for me. I'll talk to you in the morning. Hey Joe, are you down there?
What the fuck are you doing down here? I told you never to come down here. This basement is mine. You don't belong down here. Unless you want to make this your permanent home. Do you want it to be like her? Do you even know what I did there? She's a fucking whore. Just like every other slot I pick up in these little shitty bars. What the hell are you doing with that mask on? It's ain't 20 questions, bitch. I'll do what I want, when I want. You think you're the first little slut I've had here? Oh no, she ain't the first. Your fucking slut of a mother was the first. She didn't run off on us. She tried to run away, but she didn't get very far. How could you do that? What the hell are you? I'm your father.
You heard me screaming, and you didn't even help. That makes you just as bad as he is. I am going to treat you the way I was treated. You are going to feel everything. So what happened then? What do you mean? That's where the story ends. I mean, what happened to Rachel and her father and, and the girl in the basement? They never found Rachel or the woman's body in the basement. They did find the father's though. Kids say his ghost haunts that house. I know whoever moves in moves out real quick. Shit, kid. That is a messed up story. What do you think, Mike? Uh, I'm calling bullshit on that story. How'd the cops know what happened if they only found the father? I don't know. I guess they have theories. It's just the way the story was told to me. So, enough of this shit. I think it's time to get down with your business. Yeah! <laughs> Alright! I'm waiting for this shit. I'm ready. Wait! I've got better stories. No way, man. We've already given this little asshole too much of our time. We've got all the time in the world. We're gonna kill him anyway, so what the hell difference does it make? You are a fucking dimwit and you know it. Come on, man, don't be insulting. I thought the whole idea of this was to have fun and I'm enjoying these stories anyway, so what the fuck, right? You do realize he's just doing this to buy time, right? He's prolonging the inevitable and you're playing right into his hands. Hey, man, I'm half of this here partnership and I say we listen to another story. Since when the hell are you half of anything but a piece of shit? Don't ever talk back to me in front of the victims. Fuck, man, just calm down. So I like fucking horror stories. It's a big deal. If I let you tell another story, you promise to quit this shit so we can get on with it? If by this you mean killing me, I guess I don't have much of a choice. This story better make more sense than the last one or I'll make sure you suffer worse. <sighs> well, there was this guy who lived down the street from me a few years back. I always thought he was involved in some organized crime or gangs. The thing is, the general public thought he disappeared, but that's not the story I was told. I looked everywhere, I looked in all the places you told me. He's gone. It's like the little prick just vanished off the face of the earth. I don't care how important this is to you. You wanna find this guy so badly, go find him your fucking self. I'm not gonna roam around all fucking day. I told you, I'm not gonna roam around all day looking for someone who obviously slipped by your fat ass. I'm out, I'm done with this, all right?
In this arid wilderness of steel and stone, I raise up my voice so that you may hear and grant my request. To the east and to the west I beckon, to the north and to the south I show a sign proclaiming, death to my enemies and vengeance be mine. O oh, great prince of darkness, if you hear my call, show me a sign. O oh, great prince of darkness, killer of light, if you hear my call, show me a sign. I'm sorry I bothered you, but I do have one small request. Speak. All I ask is that my boss and anyone that may have heard this morning's conversation be eliminated. Eliminated? How do you wish for them to be eliminated? I don't know. Killed? Erased from existence? I can grant you this request, but you must pay a small price. My soul? I don't want your soul. Your soul means nothing to me. I already have it once you are dead. I want your suffering. What's this about suffering? You must give me something that is dear to you. Something that you need. What, like my car? No, you worthless fool. I want your hand. My hand? If you cannot give this to me, then I cannot grant your request. Wait. There must be something else. Maybe I can give you my firstborn or something. That will not work. You must give me your hand in sacrifice. You may choose which hand to give. Oh, wow. You're so generous. Do not mock me. I can rain down fire and maggots on you. I can turn your body inside out and keep you alive throughout the entire ordeal. Okay, okay, I get it. You do not get anything, mortal. You get what I deem acceptable for you to get. You worthless beings always call to me and ask for things you are not willing to pay the price for. You think that I am here for your satisfaction only. I must receive a sacrifice of my own choosing or you do not get your request. I'll do it.
You sound terrible. I'm fine, man. What's up? I'm not sure if I should tell you this right now. I said I was fine. What's going on? Are you sitting down? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag, really. Uh, this morning, Polly's crew hit the boss and most of his goons. Good thing is, I'm pretty sure they don't even know who we are, because the boss is always so secretive about certain people. Bad news is... Just spill the beans. I don't have time for this shit. Well, for some reason, your mom was in the building when it happened. What? Why was she there? I don't know, man. All I know is that she got caught in the crossfire. Is she okay? Maybe we should talk about this some other time. Quit checking me around. Is she alright? Listen, man, I'll talk to you later. You tricked me. She wasn't supposed to be there. My hand wasn't the real price, she was. Oh, what? Now you're not gonna talk to me? You're just some worthless little low level demon. Probably just the ghost of someone just fucking with me. Some fucking loser. Silence! I will speak when I feel like speaking. This isn't fair. She wasn't part of the deal. Just an unfortunate coincidence. That's bullshit. You knew she was gonna be there. You knew this would happen. I did exactly what you asked. You specifically said. All I ask is that my boss and anyone that may have heard this morning's conversation be eliminated. Fuck. I just killed my mom. This is so wrong. I do not deal in right or wrong. I only deal with what I am given. You have set the terms and I have executed your request. Do you know why she was there? I am not here to answer your feeble questions. Such things do not interest me. You knowingly tricked me. Just let me know how you knew she would be there. This information will only make the situation worse for you. Let me decide what's better or worse for me. Fine. So be it. She had found out who your boss was and was there pleading with him to release you from your contract. How did she find out? This I do not know. I need you to bring her back. That is not a possibility. If you're such a powerful demon, this should be nothing to you. What you ask carries consequences that you will not be willing to accept. How would you know what I will or won't accept? Just tell me what I need to do. This will require further thought on my end. I will ponder this and then return at a later time to give you my answer. What? Ponder this? What am I supposed to do while you ponder this? You must stay here and await my return. I'm bleeding to death here. I don't know how much time I have left. I need to get to the hospital. You must stay here and await my return. You're just fucking with me now, are you? Great. Silent treatment. Fine. I'll wait.
decided what I need to do? Yes. What is it? I can barely move anymore. Pick up the knife. Just follow my instructions and do as you're told. If I do what you say, will you bring my mother back? I will do as I see fit. I want you to guarantee you'll do what I ask. I do not guarantee anyone anything. However, if you do what I ask, I will do what you ask. To bring my mother back to life? To respond to your request, yes. What do I do now? You need to stand up. I can't. I don't have the energy for it. You must stand. I told you I can't do it. Then I cannot help you. For Christ's sake. Do not call to him here. He cannot help you or your mother. He is a weak being with little to no power over the living. You should know this by now. You must remove the very thing that brought you here in the first place. What do you mean? What thing that brought me here? There are only two mortal organs that are capable of creating life, and you possess one of them. You must remove it from your body. You want me to cut off my dick? If you wish to have your request granted, then yes. You think I can do it? Why? I think I have the willpower. It is not willpower that is needed, only physical endurance. Pain is a frame of mind. I don't think I have that endurance. If you do not comply soon, the offer will expire. No. Just wait a moment. This is a natural occurrence, and I cannot control this. She will remain in her death state, and now, because of your deal with me, her soul will be ripped from its peaceful slumber, and shall burn in the lake of fire for all eternity. You will not hear from me again. No. Come back. You can't do this to me. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Hell, did you hear that story? I told you, my brother. Shit, man. That was one sick tale. I kind of had to reach down and make sure everything was still there after that one. Oh, man, I've had enough of this story time shit. No more. 
Guys, I saved the best for last. It's seriously the sickest true story you'll ever hear. What the fuck? You got shit in your ears, boy. I know exactly what you're doing, and I'm not gonna have any more of it. It'll be so worth it. You shut your fucking mouth, kid. And you, you're supposed to be my partner in crime. If you don't quit this, I'm gonna kill you too. Listen, you pussy, I've taken as much of your shit as I'm gonna. If I walk out that door, leave you high and dry, you're stuck down here all by yourself. What are you gonna do then? You better back those words up, Jack. I don't take that shit from no one. I put up with you making fun of me for way too long, man. Back in school, you and the guys used to call me retard behind my back. That shit hurts, man. And the only reason I stayed with you is because you're one tough motherfucker and I like hanging out with you. But if I don't start getting some respect, I'm gonna walk. I'm part of this partnership here too, man. So you know what? You can fuck off. Whatever. You wanna hear the story so bad you hear it. I got shit to do. So, you two dick licks can swap your Girl Scout stories and I'm fucking out of here. Alright kid, I'm waiting. Okay, this one I read in an article somewhere. It's about a family who hires a babysitter to take care of their kid. Hi Jessica, how are you this evening? Uh, not awesome, I have a sinus infection so I have a headache, and but I'll be fine. How are you, Mrs. Banyan? I've told you a million times already. Don't call me Mrs. Banyan, call me Shelly. Well, I have a hard time calling adults by their first name. Adults? We're like the same age. I graduated like two years ahead of you. Maybe sometimes I just like to think I'm a child because things were so much better back then. So how's Linda doing? I heard she's been having some problems with her legs again. Where'd you hear that? Your neighbor, Mrs. Tremont, told me. Sometimes she can't even get out of bed. It's frustrating because I feel like I'm taking care of a cripple. I hope everything's okay for tonight. Listen, if I stayed there every time she had a headache or some odd pain, I'd never get out of the house. How's Mr. Banyan? You know Jack doesn't live here with me anymore. Oh, shit. Sorry. I guess I heard something about that. In this small town, you know you did. He left me as soon as he found out I was pregnant. Fucking asshole. So where are you going tonight? Girls night out. Maybe I'll meet some amazing guy and he'll take me away from here. <laughs> yeah, in the trunk of his car. You're just jealous because I get to go out. You have no idea how right you are. It gets worse every day. You say all these awful things about her, but if something were to happen and you were even the least bit responsible, you'd never forgive yourself. Maybe. I'd have a lot more free time on my hands, that's for sure. So you sure you'll be okay for tonight? Yeah, I'm sure. There's one thing I know how to do is take care of someone besides myself. Okay. Well, if you have any problems, you have my cell phone number, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Well, you know, I'd probably be a little late. Um, so there's plenty of food and drink in the refrigerator so you can help yourself. Um, just no alcohol, no one else but yourself. But I'm sure that won't be a problem anyway. Um, I'm off. But I guess that's not really a concern. Maybe I'll invite my coked out lover and his mistress over for a party. Oh, that's okay, dear. Maybe we'll need money for drugs and we'll sell your brat on the black market. As long as you're back by the time I get home. Stuck up, bitch. Who the fuck names their kid Agnes, anyway? You keep his picture up? I thought I had problems. Whoa, Shelly, I knew you were a slut, but... That's not even possible.
There's not even any fucking food in here. What do you got a cucumber? Yeah. So what? You're bringing in an outside cucumber? What do you want? No, I can't come home right now. I'm babysitting. Well, get up and get it yourself. I don't care if your legs break and you end up lying on the floor. Don't call me back. Maybe wake the baby. I gotta go. Hey baby, what's the matter? Rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Down will come baby, cradle and all. Yeah, I guess I'd cry about that one too. Okay, Agnes, you can stop crying now. I can't help you if you stress me out. I'm here to help you. Please stop crying. Listen, you little fuck. If you don't stop crying... Can't you do anything right? Stop it. I don't need you to drive me nuts, too. You better enjoy this experience. You're never gonna have one. What man would put his dick inside of you? Don't say things like that. Why not? You're a disgusting slob. You're just a waste of a father's sperm. Dad was a piece of shit. You were so inexperienced. He used to tell me how much better I was than you. All you did was cry. Stop it! I was a real woman. I knew how to please a man. I said stop it! I'll never forgive you for chasing him away. He was my only chance at happiness. Now I'm stuck with a sexually frustrated pig. I'll never get it again. I'll never get it again. Stop it! I can't take it anymore. I hate you. All you ever do is brag. I can't stand you. I wish you were dead. He loved me. Never get it again. Never get it again. Never get it again. Never get it again. Night. It was quiet. You're home early. Yeah, I'm not feeling too great. I decided to come home early. You have any problems from home tonight? Yeah, just the usual Linda the Wonder slut. How's Agnes doing? Fine. She was out most of the night. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go check on her. Well, you'll wake her. You don't have to do that.
Shelly. Shelly. You okay? How could any human being do something like this? What's that? I can't hear you. I just wanted to go out. I never get to go out. You need to speak up. I cannot hear you. Why did you do this? I didn't do anything. How can you say that? Look at what you've done. Honestly, I didn't do that. You're sick, Jessica. You need help. There's nothing wrong with me. There's never been anything wrong with me. You wouldn't blame me if you knew. If you knew what I'd been through. did it, didn't you? You really fucked up now, Jesse. Go away! You've lost all control of this situation. I didn't do that. Oh, you did it, and you're gonna finish it, too. What do you mean by finish this? You need to put that bitch in her place. I can't. Oh, you can, and you will. And you'll do it fast, so you can come home and take care of me. anymore this is the biggest score we've ever had man 30k with that kind of money we can take a trip to the bahamas flee the fucking country or some shit like that you're sure we have a buyer for this don't worry about it it's all taken care of you don't feel the least bit bad about this that whore was cheating on me anyway man the kid's probably not even fucking mine I wanted her to have a fucking abortion. You just make sure you're ready for me when I come out. You're sure you can handle this alone? What's with the fucking 20 questions, man? You got cold feet or something? Fuck no. I just want this shit over and done with, with no fuck-ups. Don't sweat it. I got this covered. Look, just take care of her, get the kid, and get back here. I got a bad feeling about this. supposed to be here. Why not? Stay away from me. Do you want to know what I think happened? Oh, what the fuck, man? That kid was my ticket out of this shitty town. I'll tell you everything. I just want someone to listen to my side of the story. I'm not in the mood for a story right now. That. Just go! Get the fuck out of here! Where's the kid? There, there's no kid anymore, man. Just fucking go. Where'd you hear that story? I don't know. I read it somewhere.
yeah. I guess you read it somewhere. You know that's your last tall tale, right? Jack, you don't want to do this. You could just let me go and no one would ever know. I can't do that, man. Mike would kill me too. He's not even back yet. You could run too. You're saying this like I didn't kidnap you with him. Like I'm not a part of this whole operation. Yeah, but I don't think you want this as much as he does. You don't think? You don't, you don't know me. You don't know what I'm like. Mike! Come on, man, let's get this fucking show on the road! Mike! Get your ass back down here, man, or I'm gonna come up and get it! See? He took off. He doesn't care about you. Shut your mouth, you little puke! Mike's the brains of this operation, he wouldn't run. That's what you thought. But I bet he was just looking for the right moment to jet. Mike! Seriously, man, come on! Mike! Seriously, man, I can't do this all by myself! Looks like you're all alone in this.